Well, Rhonda, nice to have you back on the show. Anything new, anything spooky happened since you were on the show? Definitely. Like what? Well, I uh, had an experience just a few weeks ago where I uh, witnessed, or rather in plain language, spoke to somebody about um, the satanic activity that, is, uh, that exists in the world. And soon after I explained it to the person who wanted to know about that, I experienced two demonic attacks. What happened? In the evening. Well, the first one, uh, you can see in the spirit. You can't really see it in color, but it jumped on me, and the shape was in the shape of a gargoyle, probably about this big, I would say. Mm. That was the first night. Then another night went by, and the next experience was somebody, a man, very large, completely no hair on his head, you could, you could sense that in the experience, and a very muscular body jumped on me again. And in both instances, I immediately said, get off of me in the name of Jesus, and they both left. Oh, well, isn't it amazing, Fred, how you say the name of Jesus and you can repel spirits, demonic entities, aliens, alien, alien abductions? Yeah. I mean, that alone cannot be ignored. That tells, there's your proof that the, the Jesus Satan battle is real. And that's really what we're, we're talking about. And that's why we've changed the show to be the string theory of the unexplained. That's our new mm -hmm. title. Because there's more going on, and that is a big part of it. So what you just said just kind of went hand in hand with today's episode, which is on the war in heaven. You know, I even said, I said to my son recently, you know, remember the movie uh, Troy with Brad Pitt? Mm -hmm. Why don't they make a movie called The War in Heaven? And you could do it like, you know, with them fighting, the different levels fighting, Lucifer and his army, Gabriel and his army. Why wouldn't Michael and his army, why wouldn't you make a movie? I'm surprised they've never done that. The War in Heaven. It'd maybe, be a great mm -hmm. movie. Maybe we need to contact Roma Downing. Yeah, we got to get somebody to, uh, to jump on this. But like usual, I got all the ideas. And somebody steals them. <laughs> so oh, here we go. Will. <laughs> Get this. Okay, so this book is by uh, Derek Prince. It's called The War in Heaven. I just read it. He's got a bunch of YouTube videos out there that are really good. So I'm reading this, and there's stuff in here that I didn't realize. He says, uh, Scripture, the Old Testament, deals with one man, Adam and his descendants. It has nothing to say about any other races that may have existed. This makes the destiny of the Adamic race different from that of all other races that have existed. You know, I never thought about that. Well, we, 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 because people will say, you've even said it. Well, when Cain killed Abel, mm. you know, then he was banished and he found a wife. Where'd the wife come from? Right? He so, found Adam's wife. Uh, Adam no, there were was already married people prior. There. Adam had a girl, uh, had a wife or whatever prior to that. Oh, I don't know about that, but yeah, uh, she's the one that had the, the village of Canaan. Okay, all right, but there were already people here. Right. So the Old Testament only talks about one family line of Adam. Mm -hmm. It's not the story of the whole human race. It's the story of one family line that God created and blessed. And I say, and I've said this in my other books. That family line, if you're from the Adamic race, you have a soul. You look at criminals and stuff. You've got to, I, I actually question whether these people are just evolved humans mm. and their bloodline didn't come from Adam's descendants. If you're from Adam's descendants, you have a soul. But there were also evolved humans on the planet. Evolution, and it really opens right. up a lot of questions. If that's true, sure. and the Bible's only the story of the Adam family, and doesn't say anything about the rest. There's a lot of possibilities now for evolution. So, so, so you're saying that if you're not from Adam's family, you don't have a soul? The Adam's family. Yeah. Well, you got to, Fred, you got to realize even in the Bible over 6,000 years, yeah. every 20 years you have kids, let's say, say average of two. Yeah. You do that over 6,000 years, you're talking about 3 billion, right. 4 billion people. Yeah. You know, but there almost seems like based on behavior, like some people feel guilty and have a soul. Other mm -hmm. people 
It's like anything goes. They commit crimes, they kill mm. people, they don't even think about it. So are some humans evolved right. and don't have a soul? I don't know. But I put that in one of my books. I think right. Apophis, yeah. I put that in that book. It just opens up some, uh, but it also opens up questions about evolution. Because right. we try to say, you know, the Bible says this, and then evolution says, well, we go back for billions of years, mm. the planet never. Well, maybe the Bible doesn't address evolution. It only addresses the family of Adam. Right. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then also, did God show up? We were already here, but we didn't have a soul. And he owns that part of us, not our bodies. He's mm. not interested in our bodies, whether we're pretty, fat, athletic, you know. But the soul is your higher thinking. That is your spirit that goes back to God. Maybe that's the only part that belongs to God, you know? Okay, so the snake, what was the snake in? You know, that's supposed to symbolize Satan when he, when he, when he fell out. Well, we're going to get to that. We're going to talk about the war in heaven. I mean, that's what this book's about. So let, let's get to that. And, and uh, some different things I learned here in this book that talks about basically the rebellion of uh, Lucifer, you know, against God. So um, here's something else, Rhonda, and maybe you're familiar with this. Paul, in, you know, in the Old Testament, makes no mention of thrones or dominions uh, these are the two higher ranks that did not associate with Lucifer in his rebellion. Uh, the rebellion began at the level of principalities and powers. Do you remember we said there were nine levels of angels and demons? Mm -hmm. So apparently a lot of those higher ones, like Lucifer was a seraphim, but the other seraphim, cherubim, you know, they didn't side with Lucifer. His rebellion was on the bottom levels like the troops, mm -hmm. you know? I had never heard that before. Have you ever heard that? That it didn't involve all of the angels, the different ranks, as far as his rebellion in heaven. Did you ever hear that, Rhonda? No. No, no. Mm -hmm. That's the first time, I, you know, and you don't know, he could be making stuff up too <laughs> to come up with his own theories, you know. There's who, a lot of interpretations. Who, who didn't know that? Well, mm -hmm. I, well, that's what happens. When you get people involved, mm -hmm. they embellish stuff to make it sound better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and even the apostles could have done that. We want this story to really go, and they add to it. When man is involved, you don't know if you're getting the That's real right. story, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so he says the creation of Adam was part of God's response to Satan's rebellion. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, you had said that. See, but, I had said that. Remember? Yeah, you did. Remember, you, we were that, talking about And see, now that's the second time yeah. we've heard that, that what was the purpose of man being created? Well, since Satan rebelled, one third fell down to earth along with Satan as the ruler of his group of demons. Then there was one third that hadn't made up their mind who they were going to be loyal to. Mm -hmm. Then there was one third extremely loyal to God, uh, those angels who worship him day and night. And then... <laughs> Yeah, well, that's pretty much what he says. They all right. didn't decide. They didn't side right. with Right, so uh, there's Lucifer. not enough to conquer Lucifer, so man was created to go along and be on the side of Jesus mm -hmm. so that we could be his soldiers. But you see, here's the other question I had, and I'm, I'm confused after reading this and talking to you. Uh. Did Lucifer's rebellion, was it over? I always thought it was over the creation of Adam. That's when he rebelled because... Uh, he wasn't going to bow to an inferior. He mm. was level one, mm. and there's nine levels of angels, and humans were level mm. ten. He was would not bow to Adam, mm. and I thought that caused mm. the rebellion. But according, so now the question so now is: now twice we've heard that man was created yeah. to to be with Jesus, to be part of Jesus's soldiers and army. So that tells me his and rebellion. It's in Revelation when Jesus rides into the mm. new earth that behind him on white horses are all of his soldiers riding with him. Okay, so the question in the my Christians. mind is, did Lucifer rebel over God's love for Jesus or the creation of Adam? What made Lucifer start the war in heaven? It was one of those two. And, and I've read in different books, it was Adam or the others say it was Jesus. Cause, and, and also, I thought Jesus came when he was born, apparently not. <laughs> he was already up there. All you know? we hear is that, uh, Lucifer, you were the most beautiful, and you became yeah. proud and arrogant. Well, it says arrogance right. and pride. Yeah. And you rebelled against oh, God. That's all we really hear. 
No, his name was became Satan on earth. It was right. Lucifer, Lucifer. And that, the god of light, the god angel of light. Of light. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to like this one. <laughs> he says here in the human race, it is the male rather than the female that accurately represents God's appearance. Uh, he is the image glory of God. Woman is the glory of man. Man was not created for woman. Woman was created for man. Mm -hmm. right. I, I, that, I mean, if you follow mm -hmm. the timeline, that is true. Right. Right, because man came first and represented God. Mm -hmm. I, we, the women livers are not going to like so that line. So we're here to be your helpmates. Your help. And See, our, that, our, uh, yeah. and that's what John, I'm doing John's right now. I was now, not, not created. <laughs> John's saying that, not me. The next date, Fred, I'm going to say, I was not created for you. You were created for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see how that goes over. <laughs> so be submissive. <laughs> no, I'm in charge. Uh, okay, it says here, man was created to be the ruler. The Adamic race was created to rule the entire globe. We have dominion over the earth, the family, the race of Adam. Mm -hmm. And that's why hunting, everything else, mm -hmm. you know, when you look at environmentalists, we have a dominion over the planet. It's not Mother Earth mm -hmm. has dominion over us. Right. It's kind of interesting logic and some things that I had never really heard before. So he says here in Genesis 3.4, Satan speaks, you will surely die. And that was a lie because, um, you, oh, no, you will not surely die. Satan tells Adam and Eve, if you, eat, Eve, of the tree. If you right. eat of the tree, you will not die. That was an example of Satan's lies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost like uh, the lies of drugs and everything else. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a, one of the early examples that Satan's a liar and you can't believe anything he says. Mm -hmm. you know? So then Satan was the, was the, uh, the snake? Yeah, right, wasn't it? Right. Yes. yes, Satan was the snake in the a Garden of Eden. A snake, right? and snakes yeah. are very snaky. So there's your logic. If he was the snake and the reptilian, then he's an alien. Then the reptilian aliens right. are from the devil. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it puts a big question mark over oh. the whole right. alien thing. Right. Yeah. Are they aliens from space or aliens connected to Earth? Hmm. And the fallen angels versus angels, because right. they're extremely powerful and can manipulate matter and make it be something else, I shape shifting. I think that you have the good and the bad. I think the aliens, like Lucifer is a part of the alien thing and Jesus and them are part of another one. They're all aliens and it's a battle between them and we're just stuck in the middle. Well, we're definitely huh. yeah. in the middle of what they're fighting right, over. Right, right, right. <laughs> they're fighting over humans. Yeah. But you know, I, I, don't, I don't say that they're aliens. They might be alien to us, but maybe another dimension because mm -hmm. heaven's a dimension and, and hell is a dimension, you know. Then what he does in here, he mm -hmm. starts to give some descriptions, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. and, and that's not something that you really hear. The, the, uh, the top level was seraphim, which was mm -hmm. uh, Lucifer, and they were number one. They were fiery creatures and had three sets of wings, and they were the angels of light, mm -hmm. okay? And that's what Lucifer was. He was the number one guy. The number two level were the cherubs, which were the guards, they guarded the gates mm -hmm. of heaven. <laughs> and they had a 15 foot wingspan. Think about that, Frank, mm -hmm. 15 feet. That's kind of like Mothman, right? right. Gigantic wing spread. Uh, and they had two sets of wings. They had two sets and 15 feet. Right. And they had four faces. So when you looked yeah. at it, it was face, 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 face. Mm -hmm. they, had, they were bronze colored with the hands of a man right? Mm -hmm. But four faces, a human face, a lion face, an ox face, and an eagle face. Isn't mm -hmm. that interesting? Mm -hmm. They had four faces on the head, four wings, and arms and hands, and they were the mm -hmm. guardians at, at, at the gates of, right. uh, of heaven. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's interesting. I'd never really read a... So first you have the seraphim with the ending I am, which is plural, meaning many, Seraphs, and yeah. then the cherubim, right underneath the seraphim. Yeah, yeah. And, and and like he said, with the rebellion, like you said, only a third participated, a third stayed loyal. Right. That top level stayed loyal to God, mm -hmm. probably because they had more contact, let's mm -hmm. say, with Him. And it was then the lower levels of principalities and powers and guardian angels and angels that became fallen. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting. The next episode when we talk about. Uh, 
uh, exorcism again. Those are the bottom levels that participated. Those are the bottom levels that involved in infestation, oppression, and possession. Mm -hmm. It's those levels that mm -hmm. participated and in the rebellion. Right, and they're the ones who occupy Earth. Yes, Earth was what? Given, was Earth given to Lucifer? Yes. So we live in hell right That's now. That's right. And we're fighting to be good in an evil world, mm -hmm. basically. So, and that, that explains why there's so many bad things happen right. to good people. Satan roams to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. Like a, a lion, right? Yeah, like every a, second of the day. Then I believe that. I think that these entities seek people out, good people mm -hmm. and bad people. You know, it's like, like people say, oh, if there's a demon. Like people have said that to me. The stuff that happened in my house when I got involved mm -hmm. with you and you helped me right. to drive it out, I told a few people, and the first thing out of their mouth was, what'd you do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, they, they target good people. Yeah. And one of the right. things they target, too, is young families. Mm -hmm. Married break, couples. To break them apart. And they love to break a family up and create a situation where the father's not there for the kids, and they broke it up. It's mm -hmm. good people, and then they seek out the ones dabbling in the occult mm -hmm. that want to worship Satan, and they... Right. they, they they pull in the bad people. Mm -hmm. It's amazing when you actually start to understand this. Right. It makes a lot of sense, you know. Oh, this is one of your favorites now. Mm -hmm. He Which talks. One? He talks about Islam. Oh. And I think this is really the last point in this book. It was an interesting read. Mm -hmm. He says in Islam, get this, and you talk about terrorism and mm -hmm. stuff that's going on right now. I didn't know this. At the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, which was King Solomon's temple, mm -hmm. that was King Solomon's temple where you have the Dome of the Rock. Right? At the site of the temple, the Arabs, the Muslims, put a proclamation on there, a, 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 you know, a thing that they wrote, and it says, God has no need of a son. Anti-Christian. Wow, yes. isn't that arrogant? I had never mm -hmm. read that or knew that. So all the people that go and visit, the Wailing Wall, the Jews own half, the Muslims own half, Christians can go look. Mm -hmm. You go to look at the Dome of the Rock and there's a, pl a plaque there that says, God had no need of a son. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a shot to Christianity? Yes. I didn't know they did that. I didn't either. Yeah. And then he goes on and says, you're dealing with people who five <laughs> times a day, every Muslim in the world, five times mm -hmm. a, a day proclaims, there is no God but Allah, Allah, and Muhammad is his prophet. Mm -hmm. And there's a sign there that says God had no need for a son, meaning Jesus. Five times a day for 1,400 years. Mm. Now you know why they're so fanatical, Fred. I mean, think about that. What do we tell Christians? You're a Christian, right? Are you Catholic? Were you mm -hmm. rich? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're basically, we tell you to say your prayers at night. Right, right. They do it five times a day, right. and they're told that uh, there is nothing but the, uh, but the, uh, the Muslim uh, religion, and, and that's it. So, no, they uh, have, but they have the jinns. Yeah, and the yeah. jinn was just their name for fallen angels. Right, that, right. That's all it was, was their name for fallen angels. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, what I, what I found uh, interesting there was in trying to figure out like I said, what caused the war? Was it Jesus or, or was it, oh, there was one other, I missed something here. I definitely missed it. There was a, uh, a quote here about Jesus seeing Satan fall from heaven like a bolt of lightning. I don't know how I missed that. Uh, but one of the quotes in here, which proves then that Jesus was already in heaven, was that he in the Bible said, I saw Lucifer fall like a bolt of mm -hmm. lightning. That then proves that Jesus was in heaven and the, the rebellion was over God's love for Jesus, not Adam. Mm -hmm. So Lucifer would not kneel to Jesus, which caused the rebellion. And Jesus said he saw Lucifer fall from heaven like a bolt of lightning. So all this time, I thought the war in heaven was over the creation of man, over mm -hmm. Adam, and Lucifer would not kneel to Adam. But that's not true because... Adam came after. Adam, like you said, was created <laughs> to help Jesus combat Satan. And he has given us power over the demons on earth if you are a Christian believer. But you have to believe. You have to believe first and, uh, of course, have the Holy Spirit within you. And then uh, on earth, we're battling demons of all different kinds 
all day, every day, in different forms. And so if you just say, get out of here in the name of Jesus, it goes, with like, immediately. But you know, Rhonda, and we, Fred and I talked about this in a number of the books I read and we reviewed it here, famous UFO abductions, which when uh -huh. you read the description, like Carla Turner, was not dealing with an alien. Mm. She talked about her bed shaking, the window shaking, everything she described, the smell of sulfur, mm -hmm. That's her, a sign. her family, I think it was her son or her son, one of the, he took his girlfriend and they were out and he would, he would say, you have to come over here out of the light. He tried to pull her into the mm -hmm. woods. He says, there's somebody here in the woods I want you to meet. He tried to get her into mm -hmm. darkness that was not under the street lights and the moonlight. Mm. And, Everything I read in there, and you know what her problem was? Mm. She was a doctor and a scientist. When I read her story, never did she call upon God or Christ to protect her or help her. All she had to do in the story was say, I re repel you in the name of Jesus Christ, leave in the name. And that's what people do with aliens and demons, and they leave. I'm telling you, Fred, so many of these people in the UFO field when you read their story, and there's all the markers of the demonic, the noises right, is right. in the seal, it follows the same pattern, that smell, the banging, the noises, the sleep deprivation, but they don't ask for help. And when I met you, and I didn't know what I was dealing with, I said, whoa, you know, I hear a boom, a picture flips up, both my dog and I see it, and there's yeah. a strong smell of a dead, rotting animal. That's when it, people said to me, you're dealing with a demon, mm -hmm. and you told me, drive them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Not in your name, because we're level mm -hmm. 10. We're not strong enough, right. but we're, well, we're we covered have, in, right. in, in we, God's protection. We have the Holy Spirit in us, which helps us to win the battle. But you gotta ask. Mm -hmm. You have to ask. You know, it's an amazing thing, Fred. I think. Well, you have to command it to go. Yeah. Because he said, I give you dominion over the serpents and the snakes. Yep. You got to say it, and you have to say it out loud, and you have you to mean what? it. You go tell a snake to go? <laughs> oh, the, yeah. snake that's, well, the snake that's looking at you talking mm -hmm. to you in yeah, English. You, Kabang. Remember yeah, you said, that's, well, that works too. <laughs> remember you said when your children were there for Thanksgiving that uh, up on your ceiling, everybody, you and your two children witnessed a serpent? We saw something fly in front of the, the projector. Right. We saw a snake right in front of and the projector. And all three of you saw it. we could see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could see it. It was like, right. well, my son said, what is that? You saw it go right in front of the bright light of the projector on the ceiling, right. the home theater. Mm -hmm. But so you go back again to Adam now, okay? Okay. Uh, allegedly, the snake told Adam or Eve or whatever, eat the apple, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, he says, from now on, you shall slither on your stomach. So mm -hmm. at one time... The snake had arms and legs. Oh, he probably was walking. He, he was You're right. Yeah. So now he's just slithering on his stomach. So all of them down here got some little bit of... See, there's something yeah. to that, Fred. If you follow the UFO field and right. they talk about the reptilians and David Icke and all of that, right. mm -hmm. that reptilian line that we say is alien is mm -hmm. absolutely connected to fallen angels. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to mix the two. That's, Fred, mm -hmm. that's why we changed the name of the show to the string <clears throat> theory of the unexplained. There's more going on, and it involves religion that nobody wants to talk about because it's interdimensional and supernatural. I had a report where the guy said, he called MUFON and said that he was a um, hybrid demon. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to talk to somebody about it. And then when I went to talk to him, he said that they come and told him that if he said anything, he was dead. Mm. I mean, the guy sounded... When so I somebody to knew to contact him outside of MUFON and, no. and, and, uh, and, and nope. scared him off and stuff? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, all right. Well, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the show here. Is there anything you wanted to add, Fred or, or Rhonda? Uh, I mean, yeah. in my mind, I found out here that Jesus was in heaven. He wasn't created when he was born with Mary. He was already up in heaven as a spirit. I mm -hmm. never knew that. I thought he started that day. Not that he had was up there because oh, he saw no. Lucifer fall. Jesus, I didn't know that. No. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, by whom and from whom all things have been created. Yeah, I, so I see. He I was didn't already know that. there. I thought the war in heaven was over the creation of man, of Adam, and it wasn't. The war was over. Right. You just think about it. Jesus was probably in heaven the way he was, uh, not frail, but you know, like 
Satan was probably 15 feet tall, Lucifer and Jesus was five feet tall, humble, and he would not bow to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I thought he wouldn't bow to the creation of a lowly human, almost like an, <laughs> like an animal, let's say. Mm -hmm. So I, I learned a lot of things here. And importantly, the Bible only talks about Adam. It doesn't mm. talk about other humans, mm. evolution, aliens from other planets. That's all possible. It doesn't talk about that. It only talks about one family line. So I learned a lot of things from that book. So that's our show. Thanks for being on. And we're going to continue this in the next episode looking at exorcism. Again, thank you.